Hey everyone, welcome back. In this JQL and Jira search tutorial, we are going to learn about in and not in operators. So very important in and not in operators, very handy. So let's quickly go back and see what exactly in operator will do. Before that, what in operator briefly does is it will search for issues where the value is specified in the multiple specified values. So for example, where the user in. So in that parenthesis, you can specify the comma limit, comma delimited values. And if any of the user will match the values that you have specified as a comma delimited value, then those results, those values will be returned or those rows will be returned. So let's quickly understand that with an example. Okay. So here I am in the advanced search bar. Okay. Now if I say how we can use in and not in. So I want to say, for example, let me um, search for all the issues first. Okay. And say, for example, I want to search for issues that have the status as a done and to do right or there is one more say in development so there are multiple ways to write this query right so i want to find all the issues so i can say status is equal to to do and then with and keyword i can keep adding that right so i want to find the issues that have the status to do and then the status as done and then one more right so and the status as in development okay so for example in development so this will give me the relevant results right so oh, sorry not and or basically right we, we we are looking for any of these right so all the issues that are either in to do or in done or in development right if i say and then it's basically the same issue can't be in different states right at one particular point of time so that's why it was failing so basically i want all the issues that are either in to do or in done or in in development status so if i use the or class it will return me all the issues that are either in to do or done or in development okay so you can see it has returned 85 results there okay now is this very efficient way no this is absolutely not an efficient way now with the in operator i can basically do this very quickly so what so what i can do is i can say status simply use in right so i can say status in and in the bracket I, with comma separated, I can specify what all status I'm looking for. I'm looking for the issues that are either in done or in to do or in development, right? In development. Okay. So if I write this query, this is much more readable and small as compared to the previous one. Okay. So if I'll search this, you will see the result is absolutely same. Okay. So what this in operator does is it will basically filter all the results or all the issues that match with the comma separated values that you will specify within the parenthesis okay now what not in does is it's just exactly opposite of what in is so if i say not in in this place okay what this will do is it will filter all the issues that are not in this particular three statuses okay so instead of using or 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 and combining and creating your query you can use in and not in to quickly filter the issues that are either in the statuses or in any of the fields so for example you can use it for not only for status you can use it for the user so where the reporter in and then you can you can specify comma separated reporters for example you are looking for the defects and defects are usually reported mostly reported by the tester or testing team so you can say um, type is equal to bug and uh, reporter in and then comma separated you can specify the username of the team members of your test team right so that's these are some of the real use scenarios of the in and not in operator you can literally use them with any fields and values that you can think of in jira and jql so that's all about in and not in operator in jql i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching see you in the next lecture